Hey guys, welcome back. So today we will continue with exercises from chapter 4 of Practical SQL. Okay, so let's get started right away. Uh, it's important for you to read the chapter first and uh, follow along with uh, the queries in the chapter. So you build the table US uh, counties 2010 because we are going to use this data in the exercises. Okay, so make sure to read the book and try the exercises yourself. Okay, so uh, here we're going to do this try it yours in the try it yourself section. Let's jump to PG admin right away. Uh, in the first exercise, we need to write a with statement to include with copy and handle uh, the import of an imaginary text file whose first couple of rows look like this. Okay, we need to have three columns ID, movie, actor, and it will look like this. So let's not just do it, let, let's not just do a pretend query, but let's create the table and then uh, create a CSV, a dummy CSV file so we can try it uh, with a query. Okay, so first I'm just going to create a table. Okay, create table, I'm going to call this movie stars. And, okay, so inside here I'm going to specify the columns. And the columns are going to be ID. I'm just going to leave it at int. Um, of course, we need the movie, which is going to be, let's say, uh, varchar and 64, because I like powers of 2. And then actor is going to be, again, varchar and I'm going to leave it at 64 again. Okay, I'm going to run this query and let's refresh here. Okay, so here I have my movie stars table with the columns. Okay, so now let's create a simple CSV file so we can uh, run it, so we can run the import here. I'm going to go to my practical SQL chapter 4 okay so let me clean up some stuff here okay um, we need a CSV file since we're going to work with headers we need to use the CSV uh, file and to create a CSV let's try to create a text well not a text document but let's try let's try to uh, create a CSV file I'm going to use notepad++ I'm going to save it in my practical SQL chapter 4 I'm going to call this movies and dot CSV all types okay so in movie CSV I'm going to put this and this is the CSV file with only one row and the headers okay but uh, if you're w using Windows like me you need to uh, change the permissions or else um, PG admin won't be able to use copy Okay, probably you've encountered that error before. I can help you with a quick fix only for for uh, education purposes. Let's delete this. So, um, but I can show you the, the error first. Okay, so we created the table. And now we need to create a copy query to import this data from the CSV. Let's write that query. I'm going to do copy and I'm going to specify the table movie stars and I'm going to say from and here I'm going to specify the path to the file so I have the file here let's copy this path make sure to put the path to your file in your local machine so I'm going to do copy from and then I'm going uh, to, I need to specify 
uh, the width clause with the format and the delimiter okay so width and then uh, format is going to be CSV we have headers so we're going to put headers here and we're going to put uh, the limiter the delimiter is going to be as you can see from from this one the delimiter is the column so colon is the delimiter I'm going to put it in quotes but since um, since the title has columns inside we need to use this uh, quote character the uh, pound key or hashtag uh, so we need to use this as a quote character to in to wrap around the title so that this uh, is not interpreted as a delimiter by the database okay so we need to specify a quote here and quote is going to be the pound key okay so this sh this query should work let's run this but hmm, as you can see we have an uh, the an error which says okay headers is not recognized oh sorry let's check so uh, it should be header not headers sorry about that okay so now we have another error it's a permissions error and probably you've encountered this uh, on your computer uh, so the thing is we need to change the permissions because pgadmin in this case doesn't have, so the user postgre here uh, doesn't have permissions to uh, read from this file so on windows a really quick way to solve this is to go to the properties for your csv file dit uh, security and i'm just going to edit security i am going to add this every every one object and i'm going to give it permissions to i'm going to give it full control okay so you can fix this if you're using linux you can do it using i think uh, the ch own to change ownership from the terminal it should be probably easier in in linux okay so i change the permissions now and i'm going to run the query again okay perfect so now uh, it was successful so this is the query that the exercise asked with a uh, with clause so the trick was to use a quote to wrap this title which uh, has a colon inside and the colon of course is the delimiter okay let's do a sanity check and run a select query to see the movie stars select all from movie stars and let's run this and great we get what we want okay so this was uh, the first exercise I'm going to comment this okay let's go to this uh, this was the first one let's go to the second exercise we need to use so now we're going to use the US countries 2010 table we created during the chapter and we need to export a CSV file uh, 20 countries in the US that have the most housing units okay so we need to select only name state and number of uh, housing units housing units are in the column housing units count 100% first let's let's get everything so we can take a look again at the names of the columns I don't I remember them by heart so select all from um, US counties 2010 okay okay so here we have so we need to get geo name and the name and the state so also state us abbreviation and also we need to order by housing unit count 100 percent so let's first let's uh, write the part where we order stuff so order by 
housing unit 100 percent and we only need to get the first 20 so limit 20 and we need to select only geoname state us abbreviation and of course housing unit 100 percent oh and we need to order them in a descending order so descending here let's run this hmm. housing housing unit okay count okay So let's run this again. Count here. Okay, so now we have what we want, only the first 20. Okay, so now we need to um, export this to a CSV file. Okay, before we do this, since again we're going to encounter that permission error, I'm just going to create an empty CSV file and then change modify the permissions like I did for the movies okay so I'm going to save this one so US counties units export and this is going to be CSV all types Okay, let's change the permissions here. Properties, and I'm going to edit, add one. Okay, and I'm going to give permission to modify right. Okay, so we're going to let's. So let's see now. We need to use the copy. So copy. And we're going to put all of this inside the copy. This select query. And okay, so we are copying this and we need to put it into a CSV file so we're not going to do a copy from but copy to and we can I'm going to copy this part so I can modify it okay so copy to and we want this to this file grab this real quick okay not the movies so we want format CSV a delimiter I'm just going to use this as a delimiter I'm not going to use a quote okay so we want to copy this selection to this file as CSV with headers and this delimiter let's Right. So right now, if we uh, open, if we open this one, units export. Let's open it with Notepad. It's empty. Okay. Let's run the query and see what happens. Okay. So it was successful. And let's check. Let's open it again. okay so that's all we wanted here we have the headers with geo name state us abbreviation and house unit and they are all ordered okay so everything happens in this query just make sure to fix uh, the error if you have any errors with the permissions okay so this one was the second exercise in the third exercise it's a simple question 
uh, we need to imagine we're importing a file that contains a column with these values okay so we have some uh, decimal numbers and if we put the column in your target table with data type numeric 38 would it work why or why not okay so uh, you need to remember that when you use numeric with this precision and scale the first number precision tells the total number of digits you need to have on your number so in this case we are allowing only three digits so only three digits in total and eight digits uh, so and the second number the scale lets you uh, assign the number of digits you ha you want behind the decimal after the decimal so after the dot here so this uh, setup doesn't make sense because we cannot have eight uh, digits after the decimal so we need we can uh, we need to have eight af uh, we can have eight after the uh, decimal here but we want three in total which doesn't make sense for this number it would make sense to have eight three so uh, a column in our target table with this data type would not work what would work is if we made it numeric eight three okay so that is the answer to the third question. Okay guys, so um, I think that's it for this video. Make sure to check out, I put the code in uh, GitHub. Uh, make sure to also buy the book. I'm putting an Amazon affiliate link in the description. If you buy the book, you support the author. It's a really good book for uh, PostgreSQL. And if you use the link, of course, you also helping the channel out. Thanks again for watching, uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.